This is Twit. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. ACI Learning provides world-class service from beginning to end of your training journey and beyond. Fortify your expertise with access to self-paced IT training videos, interactive practice labs, and certification practice tests. Individuals use the code TWIT30 for 30% off a standard or premium individual IT pro membership at go.acilearning.com slash twit. Time for uh, tips and picks. We'll start with Paul Thorat's tip of the week, numero uno. Yeah. So we talked about Windows Copilot earlier. Um, if you install, most people who install this dev channel build will not get this feature. Fortunately, there is a way to do so. So like I said, three steps. I, I didn't say this. I said, well, the first step, get the dev channel build. You never know. Maybe you'll get it. I don't think you will, but it could happen. So look, right? The way you can tell is there's a new icon in the uh, default set of icons in the taskbar that looks a lot like a blue version of the Microsoft 365 app icon. It's very, very similar. Um, but if you don't see that, um, you need to install something called Vive Tool. Um, and then you need to use a very specific command line with a uh, administrative, uh, or act, you know, uh, administrative, uh, th 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 <laughs> run it as an administrator. <laughs> um, I, I can't say it out loud. Um, it's in my article about hands on with Windows Copilot. I will put it in the show notes. It is in the show notes for the show if you uh, are in Discord right now. Um, I don't know what you guys do with posting it um, on your site, but it will be in my version of the show notes um, when I post it tomorrow. So there's that. You can get it. Uh, prepare to be underwhelmed, <laughs> but you know, yeah, there you go. Um, I w I didn't think Richard was going to be here, so I I have two tips and two epics. So I'll try to be quick here. Um, uh, Tony R Redman reached out to me. He writes he he and others write an amazing book about um, Microsoft 365 slash Office 365 called Office 365 for IT Pros. They just released the 2024 edition. Um, this thing is over 1300 pages long, by the way, um, uh, windows weekly viewers and listeners can get $10 off, um, using a special URL, which is also in the show notes. Um, so it's normally 49 95. You can get it for 39 95. Um, and I'll read this, but you know, you're better off finding it in the show notes. So it's 0365 it pros.gumroad.com slash I slash 0365 it slash windows weekly 24. So and they do monthly check. updates of that book. Like that's right. it's constant because you know, 365 is always a moving target. Yeah, it's I, right. Uh, so. You think Windows is a nightmare, as I do. Uh, Office slash Microsoft 365, even worse. Uh, also bigger. And, um, and, so that, and the whole governance discussion, like it's a book for IT yeah. pros because we have to yeah. manage this bloody thing. That's funny. Right. You wouldn't think that the Office book would be bigger than the Windows book. But I guess, well, I mean, more look, I'm not about. done with the Windows book. I mean, I'm getting closing on a 900 pages, but um, it's... You've mentioned yeah, this one before. I mean, this is the book, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah this is the definitive This is the elephant book. <laughs> exactly. This is the elephant in the room. <laughs> yeah, right. it's, it's almost the end of road for this kind of concept of a book. Wow. They're continuous update and they keep bringing new writers in yeah. because people burn out keeping this thing alive. <laughs> yeah, look at all the I'll, people. I've also, I, 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 did, I don't want to go on too long in this, but I've talked to Tony a lot about uh, business models and stuff. So, for example, I write my books. I put them on Lean Pub. People can buy them. They always get updates. And he's, you know, this is kind of a subscription uh, deal, basically. So, I believe that when you buy the 2024 edition, you get a year of, of monthly updates, and then um, it's a good deal. I think, I, I, I Forty have, bucks I think for even a, a straight up thirteen hundred pages by itself yeah. would be a good, yeah. a good deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 hard. But to then, argue with but it. then they keep getting the updates because they yeah. sort out all the new features for you, and right. that's the biggest challenge. Is new stuff yeah. comes in and you don't know what to do. This book is evergreen if you support it. Yeah, right. That's great. Yeah, yeah. but you think this um, might be the the end of the line for this kind of volume? No, no. <laughs> I mean, I would say so. No, I, th I think they modernize it. Oh, I misunderstood. Yeah, and, and more to the point, the, the audience is always going to be there, right? So if you think about like the books I write, you know, the kind of books for consumers or individuals, I mean, you know, 20 years ago, you can make a huge case. People need, um, like, to, they don't know how, to, how these things work. I mean, there's still stuff in Windows that I think is confusing, obviously. And I'm not trying to undercut my book here, but I mean, you know, the people listening to this uh, who watch Windows Weekly or whatever probably don't need the Windows 11 field guide. But if you're an IT pro, you 
probably do need the, you know, the Office 365 for IT Pros book. So it's just a, it's a different part of the market. And um, I don't, I don't see this part of it going away anytime soon. 